Binance is under major attack. That's the Binance exchange because there's a lot of countries that are not really happy with them, Luzi. We have the United States and the SEC and Gary Gensler going after all sorts of crypto exchanges. And then we have Nigeria doing a ban on Binance. Binance pulling out, of course. They're having a big, rough, rough time of it. Now the Philippines, SEC, talking about, you don't have the necessary license to work here. Binance is having hard times. There are people out there that swore that Binance was going to be the future, that Binance was doing it right, that Binance was the savior of cryptocurrency. And all of that's not panning true because Binance is having a hard time. What does it all mean? you got to consider that Binance is the number one exchange for volume. you got to understand that Binance is the number one exchange for traffic, not because of anything from the Western countries, but more about the international shores. Binance is the go-to for international shores. you got to argue that's because they're largely illicit on the international shores. I'm not blaming any individual person. I'm simply calling out what I see. They're running some sketchy business, which is what got CZ Binance forced out. People call CZ Binance the savior of cryptocurrency. That savior cryptocurrency has caused major harm to the crypto business because Binance being the number one volume source for cryptocurrency, having all this smoke around them has not helped anybody else. So I think, in my personal opinion, what this means, we're going to see some disruption to the runs that we were seeing most recently as more and more countries are attacking Binance and shutting down and Binance is pulling out of more countries, making it harder to trade. People will say, this will just cause a rise of VPNs. That may be the case. We may see a rise of VPN access to illicitly connect to Binance, but unfortunately, we're still going to see more and more crackdown coming from the Binance shores. If you're in Binance, I'm not telling you to take any action. I'm simply warning. This is getting worse and worse before it gets better. We're seeing more and more of these countries that are going against Binance as a crypto exchange. On the larger scale, then, I think crypto exchanges are having a hard time in general. There's not a single crypto exchange out there that has not at some point been attacked by at least the United States, if not other countries, because there's a general attack on cryptocurrency because of a lack of regulatory framework. That's not getting any better. Certain services that are peer-to-peer -peer, like Paxful, etc., were largely insulated from some of this garbage, but the guy quit the business and then started it back up after ruining it because he made it harder to do these things. And then, of course, you still have the illicit transactions that do happen on those, and those are going to be attacked as well. So my summary thoughts on what's happening with Binance is be careful. Please don't leave your stuff in an exchange. Use it, transact it, get out of it. You can't know what's going to happen. And with the having coming upon us, I think there's going to be a shift in terms of what that looks like from a sentiment perspective. And we don't know how that's going to affect you downstream. So all I can say is don't leave your stuff in the darn thing because it's not going to get any better before it gets a lot worse.